hello okay welcome back to the channel my name is aphrodite and this is aphrodite's house in case you're new here i do have my fan going in the back so if you hear that it's just it's my fan um i am trying to figure out setting up filming and being comfortable so this is where i'm sitting right now i feel kind of comfortable here so um today i actually wanted to have more of a serious talk um, about spirituality and I'm trying really hard not to cry because this is a video that I've been putting off making um, my own experiences have really made it difficult to put out this video so months later here I am recording this video that I've tried to record so many times and it just didn't work. I think because I was in a place where I wasn't really ready to accept what I was hearing. So I want to talk about um, isolation and spirituality. I want to talk about friendships, lovers, family, all of those things and how they're so important to our development, um, spiritually speaking, um, as well as astrologically speaking, if you look at your chart, my sister was kind enough to look at mine yesterday and kind of break it down a little bit more for me. She's a lot better with that kind of stuff. So if you see this video, hi, thank you so much for looking at my chart. I appreciate it and I love you so much. Um, something difficult that I'm having to learn is that a lot of us have friends or family or people who we love and get really close to who are only there so that we can finish up and release karma from past lives and things that we really just need to finish up. And it doesn't always necessarily make them the bad guy or make you the bad guy or, you know, make it like it's karmic, like super duper unhealthy. Um, a lot of it could just be cycles of 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 ways of thinking of processing things doing things um how we accept things you know how we intake our knowledge um just just anything really and okay that was a doozy okay i just i had to make sure the mic was working so uh where was i oh uh friends right and and how dealing with karma doesn't always make it like one of those heavy ass oh it's karmic cycles i'm just gonna you know whatever um sometimes it's really not that sometimes it's really just this person is connected to an outdated way of thinking we're gonna get you back with them you're gonna connect with them you're gonna see these patterns and then you're gonna break them right something that i'm learning in terms of spiritual isolation and growth because spirituality is my life it's not a joke to me it's my whole life it's my career it's the things that i learned myself growing up it's the things i want to teach um hopefully in the next couple of years as i slowly but beautifully approach my 30s um i just really I'm noticing that once things are done, the spirit kind of wants us to be done with them. Um, I think for a really long time, I just couldn't accept this because it meant letting go of friendships that were really good to me and are good to me um, out of fear that I would continue the same cycles if I Basically, didn't. Basically, um, Basically, what I'm also learning is sometimes spirit just wants you to be friends from a distance. Um, I have a couple of really good friends. If you're watching this video, hi, you're finally going to get kind of a video breakdown of my mental process over the last couple of weeks post our conversation. I would never post this before having these conversations with with people who I genuinely love. So let's just start there. No one's done anything wrong. They're not toxic to me. I am not toxic to them. Toxic to them, I hope. You know, but everyone kind of has their ways about how they feel about someone when the when the doors are closed and they're alone with their guides and their guides are kind of talking to them and aiding them through the friendship or the relationship and just helping them navigate. Um, sometimes we can just be toxic. We're not bad people. We are ex going through the human experience and we make mistakes. So... What I will say is sometimes when we reach a pivotal point in lessons being learned, 
there's nothing more that can be exchanged here other than what you allow meaning that individual is on their path and you're on yours you collided you learned the lessons that you needed to learn you're not toxic to each other you're not hurting each other um you're not disrespectful to one another there's just nothing more in terms of the give and take process they have more that they need to learn over there and you have more that you need to learn over here and this is kind of my way of thinking i guess or processing this has always been from the standpoint of i love this person so much or I love this family member so much, or I love this boyfriend so much, or girlfriend, you know, whatever it, it is, I'm, I'm just c casually throwing things out here, um, being vulnerable without giving too much information, right? I love this person or these people so much, but there's nothing more here. And the longer I choose to do the same things with them continuously over the course of whatever, the the more I stunt my own growth because those are months that I needed to be putting in studying or um, doing things to really work on the mentor center that I'm working on. Just things like that, just gradual. It doesn't seem like a lot when you think about it at first, but it's massive because you're taking this moment, you're taking these moments that you could have been doing something that's going to nurture your soul and keep you on your life's path and you're trading it off for a good time and there's nothing wrong with a good time but when the good time lasts seven eight nine months six years and you're like oh shit all of my time and money went into something that didn't help me grow spiritually and again if you're like me and this is your life's work that's a problem spirit's gonna start taking people away from you and it's not in the sense of oh this is punishment it's oh we need you to do what you were you know what i mean like the, like you you're you're doing the most right now we need you to be centered grounded and focused on the mission you're not doing your work you're you're having a good time and you're nurturing yourself and you're showing yourself love and giving yourself that time and space and that's great but it doesn't need to be a party 24 7 every week and part of me always felt like if i had expressed that to people they were gonna think that i was ditching them i didn't love them i didn't want to spend time with them i need four or five months of just hermit mode i need four or five months of just reading books taking notes talking to people who are gonna help me um realize my dreams and make them a reality help me create these safe spaces for more spiritual individuals like myself who want to study um who want to learn who who really just want that sacred space that we don't do not have in the area where i'm where i'm at um it can be difficult it can be challenging especially when it's friends who you just really love when it's family who you've come so close to sometimes they're a hindrance if it's in the physical you don't need to end the friendship let me start there this is not a, i'm not talking to you i don't want anything to do with you you don't need to end the friendship this is i need four or five months six seven eight months i need two years to myself straight isolation as much as i love you i just need straight isolation i need to focus because if i don't do this now if i don't do this while everything is cosmically aligning and i miss this opportunity i have fucked myself and at the end of the day when that happens you have no one to blame but yourself spirit had been telling you for months that there was multiple things you could do this that and the other thing but, you know, if you if you move like me because of trauma and everything's fear based, your fear is that you don't want to create trauma for someone else and make them feel like they've done something wrong. And you don't want to feel like you've done something wrong for standing up for yourself. And it's not showing up for yourself. There we go. Not standing up for yourself because no one's bullying anyone. No one's harming anyone. Showing up for yourself and saying, hey, my guides have been telling me that this is what needs to happen so this is what needs to happen 
good friends, good family, people who love you, who understand that spirituality is the root of who you are. It's what you want to do. It's how you want to develop as a human being in this lifetime and this experience to to help raise the vibration, to help uplift others, to help um, educate others on how the game is played and, and things of that nature. Those who get it, I feel will genuinely just be like, I understand. But a lot of people don't. And I feel like that's where the fear comes in. I, I, As I approach my 28th birthday, though, I'm learning that I don't care. Um, it's starting to get to a point where I was gracious enough to explain things to you. And this is just to some people. This is not, you know, we all have those people that were like, I was gracious enough to explain this to you because I wanted to. But let me tell you something. I'm not breaking it down for you again. I'm not making it make sense to you. Um, my guides told me that this is what I needed to do. And um, spiritually, I'm, I'm not trying to rack up any more karma. I'm not trying to come back here. I mean, or maybe I am. That's between me, the Almighty Mother, the Almighty Father, and and all of the, the uh, administra ad administrative team <laughs> that helps me create my contract to get from point A to point B. Okay, I don't have to explain a damn thing to you. Um, at the end of the day, my mission is to help educate, uplift, and, and, and keep people on the right path. That is my soul's mission. That's what it cries out to do. That's what I want to do. It's what I've been sent here to do. It's what brings me the most joy, the most passion. And, you know, when you really get to that state where you have to continuously grow and educate yourself in order to educate others, you need that hermit mode. You need that time. And it's difficult. It's difficult. But I think it's worth it. I don't know if anything I said made any type of sense because I started talking and my guides were going and they were hyping me up and I got super hyped. So I just kept talking. Um, so the video might seem a little scatterbrained, but I guess the people who get it will get it. And if you don't, then this probably wasn't the video for you anyway. <laughs> But growth, spiritual growth, development, listening to your guides to really just tap into that creative process of figuring out who you are, what you're comfortable with, what makes you glow, what makes you happy. It's the greatest feeling ever. And then you, they go up. Oh, you have to tell people you can't hang out with them anymore. And it sucks because you have to tell people you can't hang out with them anymore. This it's not up for debate. When spirit says it's not up for debate, it's not up for debate. This is okay. You can keep doing this, but I'm blocking this opportunity. You're going to have to wait for something else. You're going to have to wait for something else that aligns with the energy of you at hanging out with those particular individuals. Um, and it is what it is. You can't aim for something higher if you want to do the same thing. And that goes for everyone, not just me, the people I hang out with too. I could be cock blocking their shit, you know? I could be blocking their blessings. So spirituality, it's a its a beautiful gift. The journey of walking the path of knowledge, growth, and just being able to take in all of that information to process it in such a beautiful way. To have yourself going through the human experience and your guides helping you navigate that human experience. To me, it's just so precious. It's such a precious, precious moment that I want to help people grow into and be comfortable with and be vulnerable with in terms of like really just allowing themselves to be their most authentic spiritual self without the fear of judgment. And I'm going through this process as well, which is why I feel it's so important to make these videos to help educate because I'm telling you, it's hard, but I'm going through it too. No one is perfect. I still have to find mentors for specific things. I still have to find people who are willing to help me, um, who see the vision and want these things to grow. So I get it. I genuinely do. You're not by yourself. Um, it's hard. It's hard. Um, but together we can do it. Together we can grow and nurture ourselves grow and nurture our children educate the the, the future you know the f the future is vast you know we got little spirit babies trying to get here now and we have to be ready to help help navigate them to help them navigate you know 
they're gonna help us navigate in the future you know the things that are that are so present and important to us now will change once they get here because they'll be here with brand new brand new information brand new information that they've cultivated from these sacred libraries themselves and brought here to to help educate us so it's a crazy world that we exist in it's a crazy time that we're going through it's crazy and no one wants to feel abandoned no one wants to feel left out no one wants to feel like they're not loved not nurtured and not cared for i think it's so important to reiterate that even though i can't see you physically spiritually i am always there there is so much love we can talk as much as you want but i cannot physically the vibration that i need to be moved into needs can only be achieved through solitude and if you're going through one of those moments where what you need to achieve needs to be achieved in solitude, do not feel bad about needing the solitude because what you bloom into when you come out on the other side is going to be so beautiful and everyone around you is going to be so thankful that you took that time to really bloom into something new because it's just going to feel fresher and lighter and you're going to be able to do more. And I know it sucks when you feel like you continuously have to give up things, but in retrospect, you're not really giving up anything. It's a trade off. You're just exchanging. You're exchanging one experience for another. And when you reach your goals, everyone who you love, you'll be able to bring together and celebrate, celebrate those goals, celebrate that growth and celebrate that beauty so i get it it's difficult it's hard no one wants to technically go through these things but you know we'll get there so thank you for watching thank you to the divine mother and the divine father for continuously helping me see the beauty and the growth and everything even when i don't want to even when i genuinely don't want to let go so all you can do is grow. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go before I sit here and ball like a baby on camera. I'm too cute to be crying like this on camera. So, if you are growing and you want to continue to grow with me, then, you know, subscribe to my channel. If not, then that's okay too. The vibe's not right for everyone. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... I hope you have a great rest of your day or a great evening, depending on where you are. I hope you stay blessed. I hope you stay truly prosperous. I hope you have rich risings, beautiful days, and warm, cool, illuminating, beautiful evenings. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. My soul is just really tapped in right now, and I'm very emotional, so... It is what it is. Thank you so much for watching my channel. This is Aphrodite and I'm signing off. Bye.